Hello year one, hope you're okay and keeping safe. So in our peer lesson today, we are learning to catch using two hands. Now for our lesson today, we're going to be using paper. So what I would like to do, if you've got some paper, can you roll it up for me to make a ball? And we're gonna practice our two hand catching using this paper ball. Okay, good. Now for this lesson also, you just need a big space. So you have lots and lots of room to practice your phone and catching with two hands. Okay, all you need to do is just copy me everything that I do and then just try your hardest. Okay, right, you ready to practice? Here we go, let's start. So, what we like to do is just find a big space there, and all I would like to do is just can you throw and catch, okay, your paper ball, okay, um, using two hands. Good, and we're looking just to throw it just to our head, so we're just doing small throws just to start. Now, if it drops on the floor, oh, don't bother me, just pick it back up and carry on just practicing your catching. Good. And remember, if it just drops on the floor, it doesn't really matter. You just need to pick it up and keep practicing and trying our hardest. Okay? Good. Good job. Keep going. And sit. And stop. Super. Good. Now, we have lots of different body parts that can help us with our catching. Okay, so the first one we're going to use is our eyes. Now, we always need to be watching the paper ball all of the time so we know when to catch it. Because if I'm not looking at it like this and I'm getting distracted and look at something else, it's going to drop on the floor. So it's really important when you practice your catching, always look at your paper ball all of the time so you know where it is and you know when to catch. Okay, so just keep throwing and catching, but this time, can we use our eyes all the time? Ready? Off you go. Have a little go. And sit. Still doing those small throws and keep your eyes on the ball all the time. Good. Excellent. Last few. And stop. Excellent. Good. Now, the next thing I would like to practice is, so we've just used our eyes, now a different body part. Yes, we're going to use our hands and our fingers. So, with our hands and our fingers, we need to try and spread our fingers out nice and wide, okay? The bigger our hands, the easier our catching it is. If you make them smaller by putting your fingers together, slightly harder to catch, okay? So we wanna spread our fingers out and make our hands nice and big. So this time, I want you to use your eyes to watch your paper ball, but also spread your fingers out to make your hands nice and big. So, ready? Off you go, have a little go. So watch your paper ball all the time and make your fingers spread out and make your hands nice and big. Good, excellent, keep going. Super, excellent, it's good. And stop, excellent, good catching, well done. Now, so when we do spread our fingers out, when we do catch our paper ball, then we wanna squeeze it nice and tight, okay? Because then it will stay into our hands. If sometimes we don't squeeze it, it might bounce out onto the floor, okay? So when you do catch, this time can we give it a little squeeze? Don't you just squeeze it hard, just a nice little squeeze to make sure it stays into our hands, okay? Are you ready? Let's give that a try now. So we're using our eyes, spread your fingers out, and then give it a squeeze when we do catch it. You ready? Off you go, have a go. Good. Excellent, good. Lovely, well done. Good job, so use those eyes, spread your fingers out. Give it a nice squeeze so it doesn't drop onto the floor. Excellent, good, right, well done. Good job, year one. Now, the next little practice I would like to do to help us with catching is when we catch, we wanna try and keep our whole of our body really close to what we're catching. So today we're using a paper ball. So when we catch, we wanna try and stay really close to it. Because sometimes if you try and reach out and try and catch something, it slips through and it drops on the floor. So if you do something like this and try and reach, it might drop on the floor and we're gonna miss it. So we wanna try and keep our body really close to the thing that we are trying to catch, okay? So try and stay really close. Don't reach, oh, because then you're gonna miss it. So keep your body really close to your paper ball, okay? Ready? Have a little practice. Go. So use your eyes to watch the paper ball. Spread your fingers out, make your hands nice and big. Okay, squeeze it so it doesn't drop onto the floor 
and keep your body okay, close to it so you're not reaching and it slips out your hands. Excellent. One more. Good job. Well done. Now, this time, using all of those skills that we've just mentioned, can we now see if we can throw our paper ball just a little bit higher up in there? So not to our head anymore. Can we just go a little bit higher? Okay. You ready? So this time, just a little bit higher now and using all of those skills that we've just practiced. Good. So watching the paper ball. Spread your hands out. Good. Oh, sorry, spread your fingers out. Give it a squeeze when you catch it. Keep your body really close. Okay? And stop. Well done. Good job. Right, this time we're going to do it a little bit different now. So we're not going to be standing still. We're going to try and catch with two hands, but moving around your area. Okay? So, here we go. So you're going to try and walk and catch. So walk and catch. So we're just walking around our area. Go in different directions if you want to. But now, we we'll just see if we can walk and catch our paper ball. Excellent, good. Lovely. Remember, if it drops on the floor, it's fine, it doesn't matter. We just pick it back up, oops, and we just keep going, okay? And stop, excellent, good. Good, now, this time, gonna give you a bit of a challenge now. So what I would like you to do is, um, Find a space, don't need to move for the next one. Just want you to stand still, and I want you to try and throw your paper ball up, and we're gonna clap just the once, so clap and catch. So it looks like this. So you throw, clap, and catch. Throw, clap, and catch. Throw, clap, and catch. Again, if it drops on the floor, that's fine. Pick it back up, and can we just carry on, okay? So can you now throw, clap, and catch? Throw, clap, and catch. Good, good, keep going. Excellent, see if you can do it. Oh, good, keep going. Excellent. So throw, clap and catch, good. And stop, good. Right, to help you, okay, if you keep your hands really close together, so you do a small clap and then keep them close, you'll be able to catch your ball, okay, without it dropping on the floor. If you try and do a big clap, number one, it'll be a slow, it takes you a long time to clap, but also then it might also drop through straight through the middle onto the floor. So we want a quick clap and then get your hands ready to catch. Okay, so let's give that a try. So a small clap and then your hands are ready to catch. You ready? Good, so just a quick small clap. That's it, and then your hands are ready to catch. Okay, so try to show you on this side. So a small clap, so your hands are ready to catch. Good. Excellent, and stop. And your last challenge for today, so we've just done one clap, see how many claps you can do before it drops on the floor. So watch me, let's see if I can do it. So you go, oh, so I did three there, okay. Oh, I did four. So see how many you can do, okay, before it drops onto the floor. So can you beat my three? So who can get more than three? You ready? Go. Remember, if it drops on the floor, oh, doesn't matter. Pick it back up and see if you can get it. So remember, small claps. Get your hands ready to catch. Good job. Excellent. Did you beat three? Did you beat me? Yeah, probably. So, well done. Well done, everybody. Hope you enjoyed our lesson of catching today. You can carry on practicing catching if you want to. Okay, so well done. Um, if you want to tell me um, anything about our pre lesson, if you enjoyed it, any comments, please let me know. I'd love to hear them. Okay. Um, next week, we're going to practice catching again with two hands, but we're not going to use a paper ball. We're going to use something else. Okay. Um, take care, and I'll see you soon.